Father, in Jesus' name, I want to thank you for the privilege of sharing your word. Use me as a vessel, Lord, to bless your people. May you meet them at the very point of their needs and at the very level of their understanding. In Jesus' name, amen. My name is Florence Minor, welcoming you to yet another time of celebrating your moment with joy this beautiful day. The title of my message will be Basic Tools but Very Important. Do you know that you and me are basic tools to be used by God to accomplish his plan on earth? I have two pencils here. One is sharpened, that is to say it is used. Another one is new, it is blunt, it has not been sharpened. No matter how good or expensive this pencil can be, it can never write, right? But this one has been sharpened. It may look old, but it's more important. It is more helpful than this one, which is not sharpened. You and I are like a pencil. And until when you are sharpened, you cannot be used of the Lord. When, when you go to buy a pencil, you cannot buy that one which is sharpened because it will not be, be a new one. You buy the one that is brand. Yes, God chooses just Right, like ordinary people and then he sharpens us through his word he sharpens off pride he sharpens off immorality he sharpens off bitterness he sharpens off comparison with other people by reminding you that you are unique god gave me this message and in actual fact i didn't even know how to get, where to get a scripture and uh, sometimes it's amazing the way god teaches us when we are uh, we release ourselves to him and uh, actually i found a verse in james james 1 i'm going to read two verses james 1 verse 2 and then verse 12 it says my brethren count it all joy when you fall into various trials i'll jump to 12 that says brothers is present is the man who endures temptation for when he has been approved he will receive the crown of life which the lord has promised to those who love him I want to tell you, my brother, my sister, the Lord loves you. And that's why he knows, even though you think you are not the right candidate for the mission, God has approved you. He has approved you. And all he needs is to sharpen you. Maybe he will sharpen you uh, through your marriage, through your children, when they are so unruly. And God will be sharpening your prayer life. And as you are praying, God will promote you to be an intercessor for other kids who have Parents who are not believing. Yes, God can sharpen you by losing your job and you'll be crying, not knowing that God has something else in place for you. So I want to encourage you, whatever we pass through, no, God cannot use you if you have not been sharpened, but he'll use you if you are sharpened. And the sharpening process is painful. Some parts of it has to go off. May the Lord bless you. You are there, you have never accepted the Lord. Read the sins. Be chopped off by accepting the Lord Jesus to save you. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, help us to accept when things come which are not very present or comfortable. To know that we are in the making and you purpose to use us. That's why we pass through some situation. Blessed be your holy name in Jesus' name. Amen. If you are there and you want to be sharpened off your sins, I want to encourage you to go to a church nearby where you live and introduce yourself as a Christian and plug in so that you can be able to grow in the fellowship of other believers. I want to tell you, you have been approved by God, and that's why he wants to sharpen you for his use. 